Hello everyone to this second video about making a roguelike game. So this is going to be an update against the video uh, I did before which you can see on the playlist or wherever in YouTube. So now once you start the game you can see like a welcome screen like that with the title of the game which now it's this but it can be changed in the future and then it says press any key to start the game. So now if you press any key to start the game you go into the game and Compared to the other video, I've changed some of the stuff, like uh, like the grey ground and the grey walls and things like this. And now you can see the enemies like in red, but, but this is like not really very important. It can be changed in the future. I think the main difference compared to the previous thing is that now as I move a bit, you will see that this is a turn-based turn game, so every time I move, the enemies move. And as I move, you will see that the enemies are going to move towards me. So, for example, if you see this goblin here, I guess, well, it's going to find the small, the shortest part towards me. So, yeah, it just goes straight towards these kind of corridors. And you can see, like, all these other goblins coming to me. So now when they actually meet me, they are going to attack me. So I'm just going to a corner. So I'm just going to let the enemies attack me. And... There are two things that you will see once they attack me. One is that my HP is going to go down by one. And then is that you are going to see that I have updated the log. So before the, the game log was just these messages and now it's going to be updated with, with the different actions in the game. So now you can see that they are attacking me and my life is, is going down. The goblins are not very smart, so instead of going to this side, they just accumulate there. But that's just like the algorithm, the AI algorithm, which I guess... You know, that's the shirt that's passed towards me. So now it's slowly going down, they're attacking me. And then one of the new things I've done now is that once that you die, so once the HP goes to zero, it's going to be a game over the screen. And then the user can press any key and then the user can start a game. And then the second main thing is that, as you say here in the log, it says find the amulet, the amulet to win the game. So in the farther away point from us, there is going to be an amulet. And then if we find it, we are going to win the game. So now, for example, I'm going to attack this goblin. The goblin dies because it only has one HP. And you can see how now it says, you know, it attacked me and I attacked the goblin. Uh, something that I can also do is that if I press a space, which I'm going to do now, it means that I rest. I get one HP. And then you can see that I just get one HP. Anyway, all the enemies are going like crazy towards me, so yeah, at the moment the player is really strong, so yeah, it can kill all of them. Goblins have 2 HP, as you can see here, so they are a bit more difficult to kill, while goblins only have 1 HP. Anyway, so I'm going to, I'm just basically going to kill every enemy, there is one enemy per room. I'm basically going to kill any every enemy and then I'm going to try to find the amulet. I'm going to rest a bit to get some HP. Yeah, just trying to find the amulet. So I'm going to rest to get some HP. Moving around. I have no idea where the amulet is because everything is randomly generated. So yeah. Oh, hopefully it's here okay far okay so there is in that corner there that's the amulet so if you step into that amulet you win the game which is basically this and then if you pray one key you go to this menu and then you start again so that's basically the main thing implemented here was like the condition victory the game over which creates a game loop so now the player can play around and beat the game or be killed and then the AI of the enemies, the pathfinding algorithms, trying to make the enemies to find you. Now what I'm going to implement next is going to be, this is going to be another video I'm going to study now, it's going to be field of view. So the idea of the field of view is that now you can see that the player sees everything, but the player is only going to see this room and a bit of the corridors. So it's, you know, um, exploring the dungeon is going to be more difficult. And it's the same for the enemies, like the enemies now just know as far as away as they know they, they know where you are and they just go straight towards direct that direction by the future the enemies will have a like a restricted field of view and they will only see around their room so they will just be waiting for you 
Anyway, thanks for watching. See you.